All right, back for another rant of the guru. It's been a while. I've been pretty busy these days, so I haven't been able to make videos. Uh, I just wanted to give everybody an update for friends and students and followers. Um, things have been going pretty good. I'm about to go to the gym right now to start week 18 of squatting every day. And that is seven days a week of squatting. And uh, just to give everybody an update on that and how I'm structuring things and how to do it. Um, in case you wanted to embark on that journey, I would first recommend on reading Matthew Perryman's book, Squat Every Day. Uh, there's also some uh, excellent information um, by this guy named Corey on YouTube. Corey Gregory, I think is his name. You can see Squat Every Day. He has something there with bodybuilding.com. Um, a lot of people have used it. They talk about it. And you make it work for the individual. The way I program it and the way I make it work is I focus on the main lift, which is low bar uh, back squat. And I use that pretty much every day. But I do something like this where I, I use heavy weight Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and depending on how I feel, maybe Saturday or Sunday. Um, but I still squat every day. So for example, the days that I'm not squatting heavy, I will only go to maybe 135 or 185 pounds on the bar and just work reps and quality and, and work on my form. And I'll structure things where it's in uh, four week cycles. So the first week will be a heavy week and working on quality reps with higher weight the th the second week will be pretty much the same thing except I'll drop the percentage down a little bit and the third week I will drop the percentage down a little bit more and work more reps higher reps quality and then on the fourth week I basically deload which means I go back to very lightweight and higher reps and quality form work so you can think of it this way, like week one would be 80 to 85% of a one rep max. Week two would be 70 to 75% of a one rep max, maybe even 80% depending how I feel. Week three, I would work at about uh, 65 to 70% of a one rep max. And week four, I'm working at about 50 to 60% of a one rep max. Now every day I hit a daily maximum depending on how I feel. So if I feel strong, then I'll hit something between 315 to 325 for three reps. So I always look for three rep maximums. That way you're training submaximally and you're avoiding injury. Um, and if it's a week where the percentages are lower, I'll hit maybe uh, 285, something between 225 to 285 for a three to five rep max. And on the deload weeks, I'll make sure to never max out more than 225. Sometimes you feel pretty good though, and you find that you can go heavier, that's fine. But I always like to give the body a chance to recover because we're looking at the long haul of being able to squat every day for as long as we possibly can. Now, in terms of health, uh, I've lost 42 pounds in total. Body fat percentage has come down from 34% down to 21. Um, my diet is pretty much a keto diet. Sometimes I cycle some carbs in every 10 days or so or every 12 days. Um, and for the most part, uh, it's basically saturated fats, animal proteins, and uh, uh, peanuts, walnuts, cashews, Brazil nuts, almonds, and then greens, lots of salads and green vegetables, green leafy vegetables, especially broccoli and spinach, kale, things like that. Um, I eat very little colored fruits and vegetables. If I do, it's only a little bit of tomatoes and maybe a little bit of carrots. But I try to stay away from the ones that have a lot of carbs. Uh, the idea is to keep your carb intake between 30 to 50 grams of carbs a day. Um, and if you're really strict on the keto, you keep your carbs down to about 25 to 30 grams a day um, so anyhow so that's what I've been doing it's been working really well uh, I have my knees feel incredible my body and my back feel great I'm a lot stronger than I've ever been in my life uh, I'm 40 years old now doing things I could never do when I was 18 
So I do recommend squatting every day. If you have no access to a barbell, then I recommend you get a trap bar and you squat every day with your trap bar. Um, if you don't have that, then maybe get some kettlebells and do goblet squats with kettlebells every day or uh, overhead squats or uh, if you have dumbbells, do squat, curl, and press. Um, if you don't have any weight, then you could do squat every day with Hindu squats, you know, uh, box jumps, um, regular squats, hack squats. I mean, there's so many variations you could do. Now, the other thing, too, is that the mindset of it is you're constantly doing something every day, whether you want to or not, whether you feel like it or not. Some days are going to be great. Some days are going to be shitty. Um, but you go and you get it done. So let's say on a good day, you do what you feel. You do five to ten sets of, of your squats. If it's a so-so day, maybe you only do three to five sets. And if it's a shitty day and you're, you're tired or you're sick or you're not feeling good or you've got a fever or whatever, then maybe you only do one to three sets. But get yourself under the barbell and squat or get in the trap bar and squat or grab your kettlebell and squat, even if it's a light one, even if it's a ten-pound one do your squats every day what you're going to find is you're going to boost your growth hormone you're going to boost your testosterone levels and this is verifiable i actually went to a doctor and checked my testosterone levels they went up dramatically and so did the free testosterone um, in fact it was enough for them to say i do not qualify to, for testosterone therapy basically i am doing it naturally without needing any supplementation other than the saturated fats that i eat the eggs and the meats and uh, sleeping good at night and taking uh, tribulus and also um, taking different things like iodine and zinc to boost the natural testosterone and also eating Brazil nuts so you can do all of this naturally by using also squats to uh, make the endocrine system release the glands necessary for you to boost your testosterone and growth hormone now I have become more flexible I'm actually more flexible now than when I practiced yoga, which is interesting. And I think that that has to do with the fact that you're practicing such a vast range of motion in a, in a low bar squat. And sometimes if you use no weight and you go ass to grass, you're stretching out your psoas muscle, your hips, your knees, your back muscles. Now let me talk a little bit about accessory work. So every day you do a, a main lift. And then after your words, you would do some accessory work to bring up a weakness in your body. So for example, if your hamstrings are weak, you'd work on your hamstrings. If your triceps are weak, work on your triceps. If your shoulders are weak, work on your shoulders. And basically, what determines the weakness? Because we're looking at strength training, we're not really caring about the aesthetics of what it looks like. We're looking at the performance. If, is, your, is your performance lacking in the deadlift or the squat and the bench? If it is, then you have to bring up the weaknesses of the, of the supporting muscles for that lift to bring that lift better so that you can actually move a, a, a decent weight. Now, talk about strength for a minute. To be considered strong, you should be able to lift two times your body weight, whether it be in the squat or in the deadlift. Um, and if you could do almost three times your body weight, you're very strong. If you can't lift your own body weight, then I'm sorry to tell you you're not strong yet. You have to work on that. Yes, there are different types of strength, absolutely. There's endurance strength, but absolute strength and raw power, there's only one way to really train that, and that's through strength training. So how does this affect my C-Lot? Actually, it's gotten a lot better. I use my C-Lot as recovery. So I use the motions of C-Lot to train mobility and to train agility. And also, um, I have found that it's a lot easier to be explosive in the C-Lot work whenever I'm uh, doing combative application and things like that. And you can use your C-Lot to improve your cardiovascular work. So a lot of that I can go into detail later. But anyhow, I recommend highly that you pick something to do and you do it every day. I would recommend that you squat every day if you have access to squatting. And if you don't want to squat every day, okay, fine. Do pull-ups every day or do push-ups every day or do qigong every day. Whatever. Pick something and do it. Have a good day.